Welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we will talk about Make Human as a character creation tool for Unity. Make Human is available for free as open source software from makehuman.org. Let's have a look at the interface of the program. In the center, you have the viewport here with the generic character that you start out with. You can move around with your mouse just like in any other 3D program. Up here you can select different views. And up here you have tabs that help you select in different parts of the character to make changes to it. It is suggested that you start from the left and work your way to the right in order to create a character. So we will start with modeling. Down here you then have different parts of the body that you can select, like face, torso, and so on. Once you have a region of the body selected, you then have different body parts here over on the right that you can select. Once you have your selection made, you then have sliders here on the left in order to actually make changes to the character. Now this is a bit complicated because you need to make selections in four different parts of the interface in order to actually change something, but once you get used to it, it's actually pretty straightforward. Let's get started by selecting modeling and main. Here we can select the gender of the character by sliding between female and male, and anything in between. You can change the age of the character between 1 year all the way to 90 years. Whenever you make a change here, you can actually see the values down here, where the summary of the character is, age 20, height 162 centimeters. You can change the muscle mass, the weight, the height, the portions, and ethnicity of your character. Gender options include breasts and genitals, face, torso, and so on, so you can really make a lot of customizations to your character. Let's just change the ears of our character for now. Select left ear, and then let's move the ear up vertically just a little bit. In order to apply this change also to the other side of the character, we can use the symmetry settings up here. In this case, symmetry from left to right. And you can say the, the other ear has been adjusted as well. All right. You can also randomize the character if you like and select even what kind of symmetry you want. Let's move on to geometries. This is basically all the different clothing items, accessories, hair, and so on. One option that we have here is to hide faces under clothes. This is actually quite handy and one of the problems that we've been struggling with with other characters in Unity. So we will leave this checked for now. Here on the right, you can see all the different clothing items that are available. And one downside of Make Human is that there is not a lot available. Let's simply select male casual suit, some shoes, um, let's keep the high poly version of the eyes selected, here we will simply Use some short hair, teeth, basic. Topologies, you can add some extra detail to your character. Select male, generic. You can add eyebrows, eyelashes, and a tongue. Okay, so far so good. Materials. This is where you select the skin material for your character. Yeah, we have a lot of choices here. Simply select old Asian male. In the next tab, we can select the rig in order to animate our character in Unity. Here, it is probably best to select Game Engine. This is a pretty standard rig, has 53 bones, and we have individual fingers and toes. We can also render our, our character and make some other changes in the program, but for now we can simply export our character. Simply go to File, we can save, but in order to get it into Unity we need to export the character. Ideally we're using FBX as our file format. Over here 
we can select feed on ground and binary FBX. Scale units we can simply leave as they are for now. We have to put in the file name, select the folder to export to, and then click export. Once our character is imported into Unity, we can simply drag it into our scene, move it back to our other characters, and you can already see that the standard pose here is not an exact T-pose, but rather the arms just at the side at 45 degree angle. That is acceptable for animations. Let's have a look at the character. You can see that every single part that we added in MakeHuman is a separate mesh so that we have control over it. That's great. You can also see that the rig here looks okay. And one thing that we should always do is change our rig. Simply select the character here in the project view. And under import settings, select rig and change it to humanoid. Select optimize game objects, hit apply. And let's configure the rig. You can already see everything is green, so Unity is quite happy with the character as it is. Let's just click done. All right. Let's have a look at the different materials that are imported. Again, everything is standard. Smoothness set to 0 0.5. Let's reduce that so that everything looks just a little bit more realistic. Uh, the generic mesh, which is the body. Also, smoothness to 0 0.1. You can see that something's going on with the eyes. The eyes are set to rendering mode opaque. If we simply change that to fade, our eyes should look okay. Same goes for eyebrows. We simply select fade and they should look okay. Eyelashes, same procedure. And our eyes already are looking okay. Let's have a look at the hair. Let's change our rendering mode to fade. And we can see here that we have some problems with the, uh, the mesh not being rendered properly. This is because we're using a one-sided shader. And what we can do is simply select a double-sided shader. Now, if you don't have access to a double-sided shader, simply have a look at the DAS3D tutorials. We actually make changes to the standard shader there to make it double-sided, or the more 3D characters also come with a double-sided version of the standard shader. You can already see that the problem with not rendering properly is gone. Same goes for our sweater here. We want the inside of the sweater to be rendered as well to avoid having these issues here of the inside of the sweater not being rendered properly. So let's change the shader to the standard double-sided and it renders properly. Let's change the remaining items to A lower smoothness. And that is pretty much all we need to do for this character here. Let's have a look at how complex our character is. And we can see here in our project view, there's the meshes that come with the character. We can see the number of triangles here. The main character is 16,000 triangles. And everything already seems to be fairly optimized so that we can use it in, in games and simulations in Unity. So overall, the make human characters are actually not very hard to import and to change so that they look all right in Unity. Even though the make human characters don't have a lot of clothing and accessory items available and might be lacking just some details on the character itself, they're a pretty solid choice if you just need to get started and need a character in your game or simulation for free. That is all for now. Thanks for watching.